So I'm here at CES with Stephen Davies from uh, Swan Security, and uh, we're going to talk about the new Home Shield product. Yeah, hi guys. So Swan's yeah, been in the security business for about 30 years now. We're out of Melbourne, Australia, but a big presence across the world. We sell in over 40 countries. Um, so here we've got today the Home Shield product, which we've been working on for a number of months. And why we thought we'd build this product is you've got the ring doorbells, which everyone knows and all your neighbours have. Um, they built their entire business on the story of always home. So the concept of you're in, uh, you're overseas, you're in a meeting, you can answer that door from anywhere in the world and convince the visitor that you're actually home. Um, and hopefully if they're, they've got ill intentions, they'll go elsewhere or um, go down the road to someone else. Um, the problem with that concept is you're actually not always home. Um, you're in a meeting, you're you know, with your boss, and you can't actually see those calls coming through on your phone because it's on your do not disturb. So you're actually not going to pick up that ring doorbell and answer it and tell that visitor that you're busy or you're in the house and please go elsewhere. So the concept sounds good in theory, but then falls over in reality, if you like. Um, another classic example, a lot of us here from across the world at CES this week. Um, if my doorbell goes off now, I'm overseas or maybe I'm sleeping here in different time zones, you're just not going to be able to pick up those calls. So that's where it falls over. And that's where Swan thought, what could we do to help people get, answer the door um, when they're not actually at home or not even in the same country? So that's what we brought, built here. So we're using sort of AI and sort of the chat GPT type of technology to build a concierge service and help, um, help the doorbell answer the door on your behalf and interact with your visitors on your behalf. So we'll um, do a bit of a demo here. So just a prototype. So press the doorbell, just pretend you're a visitor coming along. There's a Good slide. day, mate. What's up? Yeah, hi. I've got a package for Alex. Oh, Alex isn't home right now. You can just leave the package near the door. Thanks. So, so what we've done, so there's a bit of... Um, yeah, sort of a delay at the moment that you can see on that sample, and that's purely down to CES and the problems of cellular in a suite high in an office built or high in a hotel in Vegas this week. Um, so it'd be a lot faster in reality and a lot more responsive. So what we've done behind the scenes is in the setup of the product, I've told the system that I'm Alex and I own the house. And Olivia lives here as well, my partner. Um, and we've told them where I would like to leave the packages in general. So in that example, it was leave it around the corner, but maybe another person's house is leave it behind the garbage cans or behind the fence, that kind of thing. So you can customize that depending on the owner. So if we try again now, and I'll ask for someone that's not the homeowner, so not Alex or Olivia. Hi there, how can I help you? Yeah, hi, I've got a box for Sam. Just leave it by the door, thanks. There we go. Excellent. So, uh, so you you need to program into the AI, you know, the expected responses or the, no, no, it's it doing it all it? itself. Yeah, it's okay. it's learning as it goes and it adapts the question every, the response every time. So, um, and it's you can sort of dial in how casual it is in the conversation, the accent as well. So you've got the American one here today. Okay. We might do Australia and elsewhere, things like that. And is this built into the doorbell? It's, at the moment, it's in the cloud. Okay. However, going forward, we would put it into the hardware as well, which will make things even more responsive. Excellent. So we'll try um, outside of a package delivery. Let's try if you're you know, a cold salesperson going up to the door, the door. Good day, mate. What's up? Yeah, hi there. I've got a, a painting I'd really like to sell you. Not interested in any paintings today. Have a good one. So it's picked it up straight away, and we'll do one more just for fun's sake. Uh, what should we go with? So let's say I'm your neighbour. Your house is on hey, fire. Mate, what's up? Yeah, hi. It's uh, Tom from across the road. I think your house is on fire. Whoa, that's no good. You should probably call the fire department or get the neighbors to help since I can't come to the door right now. 
<laughs> that's what that well, he's pretty chill for his house being he's on pretty fire. chilled out yeah <laughs> <laughs> exactly so uh, yeah just four good examples there do you want to have a go yourself no or? it's okay I, I think that's good i really appreciate it all right no problem thank you